Hello everyone, this is King Kuni LT. This video I will show you a solution that you can use your mobile phone like this. You can work with the CLB logic controller. You can monitor the data of the sensor like the digital sensor, analog sensor and the temperature sensor. You can monitor on the mobile phone in anywhere by 4G because this time we have sent the data to cloud server. Now I will tell you the solution, how to make it. We can see I have added two digital input sensors. You can see I can use that twice. Uh, this is D1, digital input one. When I try go, uh, you can see uh, this is alarm message. Uh, this is notification and the icon is become red. And I remove that twice and this will uh, become green and also is a notification message. You can see I have now this time used 4G. Uh, so you can use your mobile phone in anywhere just on the world. world. So you can go to anywhere to monitor the sensor. Okay, let's look at the principle. Because uh, this time we have detected the sensor and send the data to a MQQT, MQTT broke. Uh, this is, I have found a public free MQTT broke. Also, you can use your own private MQTT server. Send this date and let the controller connect to your own server. Uh, it's up to you because we, have, we can find some free MQTT server just for example, tell you the principle. And the second, you need to find a MQTT dashboard uh, this application uh, in Google Play there are many uh, free application for the MQTT dashboard so let's look at the compute so the first time we need to find the MQTT broke I have found this high MQ on the internet so there is broke IP as a domain name and the port uh, this is for public use not need money uh, there is a dashboard we can click and uh, uh, this is a uh, real time uh, monitor the date uh, how many clients and how many messages for MQTT uh, this is for public use so there is no username and password if you quit the MQTT book on your own server like a computer PC or Raspberry Pi or Linux system, uh, you can add the username and the password. Uh, so this just need two information. And the second, we can find out uh, MQTT dashboard application. Uh, there are many, so many dashboard application. Uh, you can search on the Google Play. I have used something to test uh, this time. This video, I will use this MQTT dashboard, uh, for example. So the first three, you need to let your CLLB controller connect to your private uh, or public MQTT server. Uh, this time I use this public MQTT server and the part. So we just set the CLLB network setting, choose the work mode for MQTT, and uh, the server IP, uh, because this is domain name, so we just use ping command to find the server IP. I have found the IP address uh, in this place. And the port is 1883, uh, just like, like this. Then you just click uh, save and restart the CLB. It will auto connect to the MQTT server. And the second, we just uh, find out this application. We just open Google Play and the search MQTT dashboard. And this is the first one, MQTT dashboard. I think it's good to use. You can install. I have already installed, so I just click the open. And the first time, you need to create the MQTT server. Uh, just create the MQTT server because I have created manage the block the block uh, just this IP this you can choose a name and the block the IP address 
and the port you have just set this uh, information on your serial B and the client ID not to set and uh, this just uh, choose the default and then you can press the C and you will create the block by your MKTT server and uh, the second you need to create uh, the input sensor uh, this I have created one and two now I can tell you how to create the third digital input when the CLB is powered on it will automatically connect to your MQTT server so we can use this tor MQTT box and because we have connect with the MQTT server use this IP and this address and this username and the password not need and we just can subscribe uh, this is the string like this uh, this is CLB's subscriber MKTT information this is CLB this module and this is the ID uh, this ID you can see this UID this UID and the state so we can see the feedback uh, this is the feedback uh, for the information for digital input from 1 to 16 channel and uh, if you can add this information to your application you cannot either use this MQTT box I just want to tell you the principle of the MQTT and uh, this application use JSON pass because we use JSON format uh, so this will fill in a late I just uh, print in the node page uh, so we can easy to copy and paste and uh, this information we just need to get the D1 uh, this is use dollar dot D1 dot on this means uh, get the string for the whole information because something we not need to use we just need to use the D1 so we can uh, use this string this temperature also we can use the T1 and the A1 that means the analog input so we just uh, fill in these three items on your mobile phone now the first time we try to use the D1 so we can use this mobile phone and you can press the plus and uh, use the talking because the talking have two icon so it's easy to indicate the digital sensor like this the name we can input three this is input three and the subscriber topic because because I have just sent a command by computer so I just need to copy and uh, paste that here this is topic and uh, this is not disable the publish because we only need to receive this information and uh, this is on and this is off when on there is one and off that means zero and you can choose the icon like this press when this is on you can choose a red and they can you can choose a sensor like uh, like a lock and we can choose the off can green and also choose the lock lock maybe I can choose this one okay now I can uh, click this Johnson extension and uh, this is the Johnson payload so this time I need to digital input 3 so I can copy this but I change to 3 I change to D3 down and uh, the notification you can set or not set I can press C ok you can see the input 3 now I can use the twice uh, try go the input 3 
Okay, you can see the message. The input three, the icon is become red, and I remove, and this icon is changed to green. Uh, so this is easy for monitor the input sensor. So you can uh, create the input four, input five, input six, uh, many inputs. Okay, now I tell you how to use the temperature. We can delete uh, these all items. Delete, delete, and uh, delete. Now I use this GS18B20 temperature sensor. We can power off and uh, connect with it. Okay, this now is power on. This is T1, the first channel of the temperature sensor. You can see I connect this. OK, now I need to add the temperature sensor. Just press this add and choose the test because the temperature is the value. So we choose this one, just the T1. And the subscriber topic is thin. I can copy this. And the paste. And the disable the published topic. And the JSON. Enable the JSON parse. Copy this dollar dot t one dot value and the payload paste down. Okay, uh, notification uh, I'm not set this time. Just save. And now you can see I uh, hold on the temperature sensor. Uh, you can see uh, the temperature is changed. Well, every time uh, the, just the temperature is changed, we auto upload to the MQTT server and your mobile phone you will see the value. OK, this is how to use the temperature. Also, the analog input, you just use this way, uh, just uh, change the string with uh, A1, A2, until A16. So that will be at, uh, display the analog the value. So if I open the application and uh, close this along, and open the dashboard again, connect to server, OK, connect to server. Then you can see the value will be automatic. So now you can go to anywhere and detect your temperature sensor uh, on your mobile phone. So this is how to use the MQTT dashboard integrate with the digital sensor and the temperature sensor and the analog sensor. Uh, this is a way uh, for your remote country and the remote monitor your controller. Uh, used by your own part, uh, cloud server or by the public MQTT server. Okay, thanks for watching.